we have committed to a decarbonisation journey, a process that will um, end by 2050 in resulting in net zero emissions. So we will do everything that's possible to ensure that we achieve those targets. But at the same time, we need to always ensure our own energy security and also at the same time to make it cost effective for all of our fellow citizens. To that end, I've uh, also said before in the past that all options are on the table. And obviously, nuclear energy, clean nu nuclear energy is one uh, possible option. But let me be clear, we have not decided on whether we're going to eventually use nuclear energy or not. But what is evident is that recent technological advances, particularly in small modular reactors, has made it possible for us to start to look and see whether there are indeed newer type of developments that could enable us to be self-sufficient. So to that end, the signing of this 123 agreement allows us to have a better collaboration potential with some of our partners that we're already collaborating with because this is one of the prerequisites, particularly with institutions that use nuclear energies that originated from the US. So this will then facilitate closer collaboration in terms of our capability building, also at the same time in terms of the development of our own expertise in the journey moving forward.